Good morning, student. In our last video, we are discussing our third unit, physical fitness, wellness, and lifestyles, in which we have discussed about physical fitness. Physical fitness means the ability of an individual to do his daily work effectively with joy and pleasures, and after the work is over, he still has sufficient capacity to do more work without any exertions. Moreover, his recovery is faster and quicker, means the person who is physically fit. He is able to do his daily routine work with joy and pleasures without any fatigue. And after the work is over, he has still energy to do more work and his recovery is also faster and quicker. And wellness, wellness means uh, wellness. Wellness means good health, balance of mind, body and spirit. Means being healthy and free from disease. The person who is healthy physically, mentally, socially, emotionally and free from disease, it is, uh, it is known as wellness. And healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle means the following the healthy lifestyles like living in... Uh, if, uh, living in uh, uh, living um, healthy lifestyle means following the healthy routine life like uh, doing the regular physical uh, physical activity eating nutritional food nutritional diet avoiding fried food junk food um, drinking sufficient waters maintain personal hygienic habit Maintain the good postures, taking proper rest, sleep, uh, managing the stress, tensions, and staying happy, healthy, etc. This is the healthy lifestyle which the person has to follow. Next is component of physical fitness. There are five components of physical fitness. Strength, speed, endurance, flexibility and coordinative ability strength strength means the ability of a muscle to overcome resistance means strength means ability of a muscle to overcome resistance it has it is of two type static strength dynamic strength static strength means Ability to overcome resistance from single position. Static means fixed positions. There is no movement. Therefore, in the static strain, there is no visible movement. The length of the muscle remains the same. There is no visible movement like pushing the wall. Dynamic strain means overcoming the uh, ability to overcome the resistance. Overcoming the resistance while in motion. It is um, there is change in length of the muscle. There is tension in the muscle. In dynamic strain, there is visible movement. Dynamic strain, it is of three type: maximum strain, explosive strain, and strain endurance. Maximum strain. Maximum strain means Ability to act again maximum resistance. For example, throwing, short put throwing, wrestling, etc. means overcoming the maximum resistance, also known as power. And maximum strength can be measured through uh, measured through throwing, throw attempt, power lifting, etc. The persons who is uh, who is able to uh, able to act again maximum resistance means he has maximum strength explosive strength explosive strength combinations of strength and speed means ability to overcome the resistance with high speed how fast you are able to overcome resistance it is uh, for example in jumping it is measured. The explosive strength can be measured by dynamometers or by 
jump chinning up test strength endurance strength endurance it is a combination of two word strength and endurance strength endurance means ability to overcome the resistance under the conditions of fatigue you have to overcome the resistance under the conditions of fatigue for example in cycling marathon racing mountaining etc and strength endurance can be measured through chinning up the person who is able to hold maximum time he has more strength endurance next topic is speed speed is the ability to perform movement as faster rate means ability to move as fast as possible how fast you are able to do movement the person who has more speed is able to do his work more faster with minimum time and speed is basically depend on heredity but it can be um, it can be improved through proper training the persons who has white muscle fibers white muscle fibers means fast twist muscle fibers he has more speed and the persons who has red muscle fibers he has more endurance so in speed person having white muscle fibers he has more speed and it is one of the important component for sprint sprinting and also required for fast response game speed there are four type of speed reaction time acceleration speed of movement and locomotor's ability reaction time reaction time is the time taken by the body to respond immediately after the stimulus means reaction time means ability of a body it is the ability of the body to respond immediately how fast your body can respond to a signals ability of your body to respond immediately to a signal it can also be said as first reaction to bring the body into actions how fast your body can react to a signal for example in sprint running in sprint running how fast your body responds to the signals for example go signal acceleration acceleration is the time taken by the body to reach maximum speed means how fast your body can reach to the maximum speed from the stationary from stationary positions from a stationary positions how fast you can reach to the maximum speed you can reach your maximum speed gaining your maximum speed how fast you can gain your maximum speed this helps to gain initial speed during the actions for example from starting point to the ending point how how fast you can achieve your ending ending point ending point speed this is known as acceleration and speed of movement speed of movement it is the quickness of complete actions of movement how fast you can complete your movement or actions means ability to complete the actions in minimum time how fast your body can do a single movement in a minimum time time taken by the body to perform complete action and next is locomotor ability locomotor ability it is the ability to move as fast as possible with change in directions how fast you can move with change in direction there is change in direction direction is also changing in that conditions how fast you can move 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन फोर हंड्रेड मीटर रनिंग इन फोर हंड्रेड मीटर रनिंग देर इज चेंज इन द डायरेक्शन इन दैट कंडीशन ऑल्सो हाउ फास्ट यू कैन मूव दिस इज नोन एज लोकोमोटर एबिलिटी दिस आर द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ स्पीड स्पीड मीन्स एबिलिटी टू डू मूवमेंट एज फास्ट एज पॉसिबल इन अ मिनिमम टाइम फोर टाइप ऑफ स्पीड रिएक्शन टाइम एक्सीडिशन स्पीड ऑफ मूवमेंट एंड लोकोमोटर्स एबिलिटी नेक्स्ट इज एंडोरेंस एंडोरेंस इज द एबिलिटी टू कंटिन्यू एक्टिविटी और इट इज द एबिलिटी टू रेसिस्पेटिक मीन्स एंडोरेंस मीन्स एबिलिटी टू कंटिन्यू एन एक्टिविटी फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम विदाउट एनी फैटिक इफ यू हैव मोर इंडोरेंस देन यू आर एबल टू डू द वर्क फॉर लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम विदाउट एनी फैटिक इट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट फॉर मिडिल एंड लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस रेस एंड इट इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल मेजर गेम लाइक फुटबॉल हॉकी बास्केटबॉल हैंडबॉल एक्सेट्रा बिकॉज इन दिस टाइप ऑफ गेम we have to play for a long period of time so in this type of game we require more endurance and endurance can be measured through distance run or time factors race endurance there are two type of endurance short term endurance long term endurance these are the two types of endurance short term endurance short term endurance or we can say as an aerobic or muscular endurance short term endurance means this component of endurance is helpful to perform activity for long duration with fast speed in short term endurance you have to perform the activity for long duration with fast speed your speed is fast this is the endurance wear an aerobics type of activity is done an aerobics means absence of oxygen because you are doing the activity with fast speed therefore it is an aerobics types of activity is done when the intensity of speed is very fast okay when the intensity when the speed is very fast then an aerobics type of activity is done therefore this is also known as an aerobic endurance this endurance is for short duration okay an aerobic uh, short term endurance you are doing activity with maximum speed with fast speed and the duration is long we do the activity in the absence of oxygen with the help of stored energy in the muscle the energy which is stored in the muscles glycogen speed in a short term endurance produce lot of fatigue and tiredness as it cause oxygen depth okay in short term endurance there is lot of fatigue because the activity is done with fast speed therefore there is lot of tiredness fatigue etc it required for almost all game and sports like tennis badminton handball basketball volleyball middle distance race swimming etc in this type of activity we do our activity with fast speed long term endurance or aerobic or we can say as cardiovascular endurance long term endurance this endurance is helpful when the activity is done with long duration the activity is done for long durations and the intensity the speed is slow in long term endurance the activity is done for long durations whereas the speed is slow in short term endurance the activity is done for long durations and the speed is fast but in long term endurance 
the activity is done for long duration but the speed is slow it is the combinations of circulatory with respiratory system which provide continuous energy for workout in other words this type of activity is aerobic natures we do in the presence of oxygen long term endurance we do in the presence of oxygen therefore our speed is slow absence of oxygen um absence of oxygen okay uh if our, we do the activity in the absence of oxygen um Mm. aerobics natures when the activity is aerobic natures then the speed is slow and when the uh, when the anaerobics our uh, our exercise is anaerobics then this is about the Mm, type of endurance okay short term endurance and long term endurance in long term endurance it delay the fatigue okay in long term endurance it delay the fatigue because we do the activity and the presence of oxygen therefore fatigue is less thus it is required for long distance race road cycling cross country marathon race football etc flexibility flexibility is the ability of joint to move in maximum range okay flexibility means ability um ability of the joint to move in maximum range how um this is the range of joint to uh, move maximum how from, how much you can stretch your joint maximum stretching of your joint uh, in a maximum range stretching your joint in a maximum range how long you can stretch your joint without any pain in the joint or the muscle attached muscle attached towards the joint without any pain how long you can stress your joint if you have more flexibility you can stress your joint at a maximum range flexibility vary from joint to joint due to its structures surrounding adjoining ligament tendons muscle and flexibility it is measured through flexometers okay flexibility it is measured through flexometers flexibility it is of two type passive flexibility and active flexibility passive flexibility it is the ability of joint to move in maximum range with external help in passive flexibility we stress our joint in a maximum range with external help like stretching with partners or using external equipment to stress our joint and active flexibility active flex flexibility means ability to stress our joint in a maximum range stretching your joint in maximum range without any help it is performed without external or self movement of a part to a maximum range and static flexibility it is two type static flexibility dynamic flexibility static flexibility means it is the flexibility to uh, flexibility perform from stationary positions means stretching your joint from a stationary position from a fixed positions there is no movement for example chakrasan toe touching sideward bending 
in this type of activity you stretch your joint but there is no movement you are stretching your joint from the stretcher from a fixed positions stretching your joint from a fixed positions like side touching toe touching the position is fixed there is no movement and dynamic flexibility means stretching your joint in a maximum range while in motions there is a movement and you are stretching your joint it is required for gymnastic for example in gymnastic diving etc stretching flexibility while in motion coordinative ability or agility coordinative ability or agility coordinative ability is the ability of the body to perform movement with perfection and efficiency means coordinative ability means performing the movement perfectly performing the movement with perfection and efficiently or doing the movement repeatedly repeating the movement smoothly and accurately without without getting unbalanced okay you are uh, repeating the movement the movement is repeated and uh, without getting unbalanced or we can say doing the activity bit perfections and efficiency this involve the sense muscular contractions and joint movement every physical activity in life required the ability of coordinate uh, coordinate our limbs to achieve a successful outcome outcome okay so we can conclude that coordinative ability means changing the movement or direction in shortest time you are changing the movement directions in quick quickly without getting unbalanced changing the direction movement in a as fast as possible in a minimum time without getting unbalanced types of coordinative ability there are six type of coordinative ability adaptive ability adaptive ability is the ability that enable modifications of motor activity on the basis of comparisons or anticipations of new or changing conditions by performing the activity in adaptive ability you are uh, adaptive ability means modif modifying the motor activity modifying the movement adaptive ability means ability to change the movement or actions on the base of comparisons or anticipations of new or changing situations you are changing your uh, movement according to the uh, on the base of anticipated or new changing conditions by performing the activity this is known as adaptive ability means ability to adjust or change the movement according on the basis of comparisons or anticipation of new or changing situation while performing the activity balance ability balance ability means ability to keep the body or its parts in relatively stable positions keeping our body in a stable in a fixed positions there is no movement and next combinatory ability combinatory ability it is the ability to put partial movement together into more complex movement means combining the movement putting one movement with other movement to perform the perfect movement ability to combine body part movement with one another okay combining the body part movement with one another for a successful performance combining one movement with other movement so that your movement will be perfect for example 
combining the hand and leg movement kinestic ability kinestic ability is the ability to realize the kinestic and dynamic features of movement okay kinestic means realizing the kinestic and dynamic features of movement next is rhythmic ability rhythmic ability means it is the ability that enable to grasp the motor movement and express that movement in very coordinated way with graceful actions means understanding the rhythm and rhythmic ability understanding the rhythm and then performing the movement according to that rhythm okay understanding the rhythm and performing the expressing the movement according to that movement or we can say that gra um, ability to grasp the motor movement and express that movement in a very coordinated way with graceful actions orientation ability it is the practice of coordinated exercise to respond a complex movement and activity or we can say that orientation ability orientation ability means ability to adjust or change the positions of the body with change in time and directions of the place in orientation ability you are changing or adjusting yourself on the base of change in time and directions there is change in the time and place okay orientation ability means ability of a person to adjust himself as per the time and situation of the place for example in a playground in a playground you are changing your set you are changing your movement according to the time and situation of the place okay orientation ability means ability to analyze and change the position of movement of the body you are changing the movement of the body in time and space in relation to definite field of uh, situation field of actions example in playground according to the opponent you are changing your body movement these are the six component six uh, coordinative ability first is adaptive ability balance ability combinatory ability kinetic ability and rhythmic ability adaptive ability means ability to adjust or modifying the movement okay adaptive ability means adjusting or modifying the movement according to the change or anticipate change in the situations or movement balance ability means keeping the body or its parts in a stable in a fixed point combinatory ability means combining the movement combining one movement with other movement kinetic ability means ability to realize the kinetic and dynamic features of movement and rhythmic ability means ability to analyze the rhythms and performing the movement according to that rhythm and orientation ability means ability to adjust um orientation ability means ability uh, to adjust himself as per the time and conditions of the place of uh, for examples in playground the person adjusts himself according to the condition of the playground these are the six component of coordinative ability coordinative ability means ability to perform the movement with perfect and efficiently performing the movement perfectly and efficiently you are doing the various movement without getting unbalanced changing the movement 
रिपीटेशंस ऑफ मूवमेंट विथ फास्ट विदाउट गेटिंग अनबैलेंस एंड योर मूवमेंट इज परफेक्ट दिस इज द फाइव कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ फिजिकल फिटनेस दैट इज स्ट्रेंथ स्पीड इंडोरेंस flexibility and coordinative ability these are the five component of physical fitness